Hello, well today we have no mods, we just have a bit of old school and we're taking out the Lotus 49C for a giggle. Uh, so this is Formula Vintage Gen 2 and we are at Historic Spielberg 1974. Five laps, real weather, no idea what's going to happen. Let's go! That's uh, something that AMS2 does fantastically well, which is give you a whole toy box full of cars from all eras and some fantastic tracks to drive on. And I'm feeling a bit old school today. These things have not got the uh, the grip of modern cars. They've got plenty of punch, not a lot of weight. So that's two things they've got going for themselves. Um, but they do handle beautifully. What the cars do, it is uh, transferred to you, the driver physically for the force feedback and visually and uh, for the audio as well Oof. as we just lose the back end slightly there on that uh, off camber corner all of it squirrely under the brakes just spinning that rear up slightly just stepping out again there just getting the slip angle going Blip on the downshift, whoa, back steps out, get it back on the power, back just sliding out slightly, slightly there, absolutely beautiful. And there's this and many, many, many other cars and classes and tracks to be going at, and the AI will give you a uh, nice clean race and not do anything too outrageous Whoa. let's keep it nice and tight here on the power as we go up the hill to back out of that he didn't get on the power up into top we're just going to coast through here, blip and down once we get it straight. Just a little tiny bit of trail braking there just to bring the nose in to third, fourth, getting ready for the braking. I'm looking on the inside, just stepped out then as I dropped to second, just balance it on the throttle. Getting down to second, just balancing it. Now, there is no room. The great thing about open wheelers, you really don't want to go crashing in there because if you touch wheels, it's, it's not going to end well. Uh, I was on a bit early there, up to third. Okay, the cars behind have caught up as I've messed up, pulling away from them. Let's get a nice clean run through here outside. Down to fourth, running way too hot there, got a little bit out of shape, trying to scrub some speed off, back up to the top. Ah, inside, inside. No. It's going to do it again. Just backing me up just before you punch out, but managed to compensate for it that time. And we're through to fifth. Coming in again, just on the brakes. 
down to second to keep it rolling keep it all collected just trail break again instantly the nose comes in to third fourth blip down to third I think it gets a bit shaky as we do it just a slight tap of the brake just to get the car to stick in a bit that's way too much Owen trying to snatch back on me and he's back with me took a little bit of the grass line there just to get a tighter line and keep the power on it's looking again up the inside I've got to leave him a bit of room left it in third there which scuppered me exit speed but gave me a little bit more control on the throw okay let's try this again yeah a little problem to break as we uh, turned in just to uh, put that weight over the front wheels give me a little bit more direction the smoking front cars are on the track which is good to third that's a lift slightly there a little bit of understeer so yeah every car is different every car is going to give you a different feel a different challenge a different style of controlling it these of course on these big cross supply tyres likes to uh, move around a bit no not a bit a lot so you got to use that to your advantage like that whoa 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 okay that just freaked me out slightly there didn't know whether I had to get out of it so I hit the brakes a little bit too hard he gathered it up and luckily I managed to gather it up as well the AI is showing that they're uh, not completely infallible there okay second snappage second blip on the downshift to keep that transition smooth caught the grass pushing too hard check for damage a little bit too on the suspension front left one lap to go that damage drop it to fourth keep it tight give yourself a little bit of room while I uh, get to grips with the car feeling a little bit loose and a little bit pulling to the left but still drivable it's not the time to go up the inside sir it's time for me to do it though Was a bit cheeky, a bit cheeky, but it worked. Now then, we'll watch this areas here because these are uh, require a bit of balance, which is not going to happen with a loose front end. Again, just being a bit cautious what I've got to play with as the car is handling slightly different yeah a little bit of a snatch there as I came out a bit locking on the brakes there massive understeer yeah it's backing out for me there I've thrown it away on the last lap Uh, I've done it again, just just give it too much beans, lift the front end slightly with a weight change and it understeers off. Beautiful cars to drive, like the vast majority of them, both standards and mod cars. Right, hope you enjoyed that. Nothing to get upset about. <laughs> Nothing, nobody's already got. Right, okay. So yeah, uh, one of my uh, go-to classes really, doesn't matter the uh, 
the game, if it's got these in them, you've got to have a go. See to your, see to your pants. See to your spleen. Right, adios.